Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Time here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on April 19th of 2023, going over all the events, as well as major changes, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings a couple little tweaks, couple events as well, so yeah, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel, and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow the channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win and... Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. And the first event is a fan favorite, and that is the Hot Time Plus Treasure Zone event. So, drop rate up 50% from April 19th through May 10th, which is my birthday. So, you know, just, just letting you know. But anyway, 50% uh, drop rate for the next two weeks here, and all of the different treasure items, so like the map pieces or the potion pieces, those types of things, those are available at alternate locations. So those alternate locations are in the patch notes. I have a link down below if you want to read through it, but it's the same stuff it's always been. Also part of this, which is really cool for life skillers, is that hunting can also drop the Veltara's pot piece here. So uh, if you're still going for that one, it's something you can get from life skilling now, which is fantastic. Uh, just keep that in mind. You'll probably see a lot of people out there hunting this week. So again, this is a favorite event, awesome event if you've never been a part of these ones before. And if you don't know what these treasure items are, they're basically things that make your gameplay in Black Desert way easier. Like the map lets you teleport back and forth. You've got the pot pieces that are infinite HP and mana potions that you can get. Uh, just generally speaking, it's a pretty awesome, awesome event. So you, you want to get these things. The next event is an interesting event that I have never seen anything like it before in the last like four years that I've been playing Black Desert. And it is Knowledge is Power. So, for this one, what you need to do is gain the knowledge of Residents of Velia, Velia Merchants, and Marnie's House. Completing these events is going to give you Marnie's Potions, and these potions give you 100 energy each. To view your energy in these different categories, press the H key on the keyboard. You then want to go to the Character tab, People of Eastern Balanos, which is the first one, so People of Eastern Balanos, first option there. And you're going for the Residents of Velia, so this whole little category here the Velia Merchants, and then popping out of the character menu entirely, heading over to the Ecology, Ecology of Calpheon, Marnie's House. So all these different things. If you haven't obtained the knowledge for some of these different categories, you can click on the item and click the track button to mark it on the minimap, or you can head over to a BDO Codex and follow the same exact path. So in this case, I was looking for Ecology, Ecology of Calpheon, and then Marnie's House. And it'll also show you all the different things and where they are. You can hover over it and it should bring up a map, and if it doesn't bring up the map, you can just click on it. It'll bring up a map showing you where in game you go to find this thing. So it's pretty friggin' cool. I'll link this video codex page in the description below for you to go ahead and follow through. Now, once you have those knowledges completed, if you press the comma key on the keyboard to bring up the black spirit, head over to the quest tab along the bottom and click on the event section. You'll see knowledge is power one. Talk to the black spirit and click enhance and back back out, and it'll complete the quest to give you the endurance potion. So again, this is a 100 energy bump here. And uh, yeah, then you can do the second portion of it, which is event knowledge of power two complete that quest and just hit enhance and back out to complete it and then the third one is going to be the uh, Marnie's knowledge which I'll get this weekend but yeah it's a neat little incentive to complete more of your knowledge system here and get some bonus energy now the final event is targeted towards newer players so anybody that's made an account in the last 60 days and has completed Argentina's accessory quest line will get 10 more of the moonlight black stones here to continue advancing that accessory which is pretty cool Saves you a bunch of time, big fan of it. Now, if you don't know what the Jatina pen accessory quest line is, I have a full-on guide and walk through this as well. So this is linked in the description below and you can follow it at your leisure. But that's it for the events. So now let's move on into the patch notes themselves. And the patch notes are pretty light this week, nothing too crazy. So first things first, we have the character changes and the character changes mainly focus around the warrior and the archer. The warrior gets a couple of nice little tweaks to it and the archer gets a ton of stuff. Like this is like a ton of changes. Pretty much over half the patch notes here are archer related patch notes. So it's from uh, what here to here. Yeah, that's, that's over half the page is related to Archer. So if you are an Archer main, big day for you. Definitely got a nice set of tweaks, buffs, and whatnot to your class. So look forward to that. As far as actual content changes, the likes have been reset in chat groups. Nobody really cares about that. And honestly, there's not really anything too crazy left in the patch notes. There is one more thing that I want to point out, though. If you press the escape key on the keyboard, go over to the Pearl Shop and click on the Loyalties tab. In the Loyalties tab, you should see going on for a couple more days. I already bought it, so it's going to be at the bottom here. A loyalty rare crownstone bundle. For 500 loyalties, you can get this crownstone bundle that has a chance to have up to 2,000 crownstones in it. So uh, not the worst exchange there if you're feeling a little bit of RNG. I like to pick these things out when they come up. Uh, loyalties, you get 200 of them every single day for logging into the game. So uh, yeah, it might be something worth, worth throwing your loyalties at so you can get a nice roll out of it. Just want to make sure it's pointed out to everybody. This one's lasting for six more days from when I'm recording this. I just like to point out cool things like that when they pop into there. So anyway, uh, that's going to do for today's video. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for the events? 
uh, let me let me know. Just, yeah. And I guess just an aside from that little bit there, um, I know I've been lacking a bit in general content on the channel. I know yesterday I put out my first real full-length video. That was a 13-minute video. I uh, put that one out for the first time in a while. And generally, I'm going to try and put out at least two or three videos a week in uh, in content here. So I'm trying to bump it up a little bit. Uh, just, you know, for your viewing pleasure. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you all so much for watching, though. Love the continued support. Love to see you with the live streams every single weekend, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, or wherever I happen to see you. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.